Hey, what's up everyone? Hope everyone is doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create cool looking arrows in Adobe Illustrator. Um, this is going to be a fun tutorial and I'm just going to freestyle a little bit just to show you the creative process and just to inspire you guys to create your own stuff. So let's get into it. <laughs> All right guys, so we're in Adobe Illustrator and you're looking at some assets I made for Shutterstock and Adobe Stock. If you want to check out my account, it's shutterstock.com slash G slash film that. Um, I post some photos, videos and some graphic elements you can use for your own designs, but that's not really what this channel is about. On this channel, I want to teach you guys how to make stuff. So today we're looking at arrows. Um, so before I'm going to show you how to create these arrows, let me just quickly get these icons out of the way because otherwise you guys might ask about it. So let's just start with a little circle and just go to effect transform and it's called plug and blows or something in English um, but voila there you go easy as that now this little icon over here is even easier so let's start uh, with a little circle make sure it has a stroke so just click on here and maybe change the thickness just copy it so click on it hold alt hold shift drag it to the left and do that one more time, but this time to the right. Make sure these are nicely connected. And now just hit A on your keyboard, select this anchor point, press delete, do the same or the opposite on the other side, and voila, there you go. Now on to the arrows. Let's just start with this one. Um, just start with a rectangle and just create a shape you like. And all you really have to do is press A, select both on the anchor points on the right, and now just press S and just scale it to the middle, like so, boom. And there's your little arrow or play button or whatever you wanna call it. And this can be the start of something like this. So let me just copy this and just press P to select the pen tool and let's just draw a little line. Make sure it has the stroke selected, change the thickness again. And as you can see, we already made a nice looking arrow. If you don't wanna make this yourself, just let me just copy the stroke. You can also head over to the stroke panel. So if you can't see it, go to window, stroke somewhere and down here you can actually select an arrow for the start and the end of your path like so if you don't see this you have to unfold the options so click here click on this and there you have it now there are quite some options not all of them look really nice but um, just select one you like I personally really like this one as it just looks so simple. You can also switch them like so. See, they flip around. And if you don't like the size of it, some of these are huge for some reason. You see this one is always pretty big. So you can just scale it down if you want to. See, that already looks a little more subtle. So. Uh, that's nice. All right, so this is pretty nice, right? Now let's just play around with this. For example, if you want to have a zigzag line like this, you can, of course you can draw something yourself with the pathfinder, like so. But that always takes a lot of time. So um, let's just go to effect and again to this transform tab and then just click on zigzag. Um, these are pretty sharp teeth, so if you want to smoothen it out, just click on this option and just play around with these settings. See, that's pretty cool. 
Now over here, as you can see, I've made some kind of circle, almost looks like half of the recycle icon. So all you have to do is create a circle like so. Now just hit plus on your keyboard so you can add anchor points, add some random anchor points. And now start deleting some so you get this gap. And of course you have to add a little arrow. So again, let's just select number 11. I just like that one. And voila, there we go. Pretty nice, pretty simple. Boom, there you have it. Now this one is more interesting, I guess. So uh, there might be a faster way to do it, but I always do this by hand. And I start with a little rectangle like this, let me just copy it. And then I hold shift and from the corner, I just rotate it. And if you hold shift, it rotates in 45 degrees. So that's nice. And now let me just also copy this and rotate this. I'm just gonna change the color so you guys can see what I'm doing. So let me move it over here. Let me just move it to the front. So hold command shift and this bracket to the right. And just select this anchor point, move it down while holding shift and just align it with the rectangle we already made. And now let's select these top two anchor points and just drag it down. All right, now I'm gonna copy this. So select it, hold Alt, drag it to the right. And let me just rotate it. And now we need to flip it. So go to Object, Transform, Mirror. And voila, there you go. And let's just put that over the rectangle we already made. Change the color to white. And that's pretty much it. All right, so I'm just gonna copy it, go to my Pathfinder panel and just merge these objects. And now it's just one little object. And if you wanna create an isometric 3D image of this, just go to Effect 3D, select the first one, go down to isometric left or right or whatever you like, and just increase this a little bit. There we go. And just copy it again. Go to object, expand, and now you can change the colors of each face. So um, change this to red. Change this to yellow. And this one as well. And boom, there you go. So I think that's pretty much it. I think I covered most of these. Um, this is kind of quick and dirty, but I hope it inspires you guys to create your own stuff in Adobe Illustrator. If something is unclear or if I went too fast, please leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to answer it as soon as possible. Good luck. All right, that's it for this video. If it was useful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.